chords which uh, we're using. Okay, starting off, it's uh, an E minor, which is basically the fourth and fifth strings held down on the second fret there to start with, and then this little extra note on the string two, fret three. So that effect, and then your next chord is uh, string two on one, string four on two. Add in the, the little note on the uh, string one fret three. Then it's a C chord with the uh, little finger doing the thing on the first finger again. Then this chord is string one on three and strings two and three on five on five for that one and then. Um, string two on three and strings three and four on four and your index finger goes here on string six on three but you're, you're damping down this is string five which is dampened by the, the pad of your index finger for that one, for that one. And then you go okay uh, this chord here, bar on the third fret, and then you've got string two on five, string three on four, string four on five. For that nice chord there. And all you're doing then is lift your second finger off and slide it down one fret. So it's to get that effect. Um, right into the chorus bit of it. Starting off with this chord here, uh, right, we've got a string three, sorry, wait a minute, string five on three, string four on two, and then string two on three. Together for that one. That's just a D chord. A bar on two and string two on three, string four on four for that one, and then you move it up to have the bar on string seven, and then from fretting on seven, you just slide it back down two frets. Just, uh, you could overcomplicate it a, a bit, this chorus bit, but I just wanted to keep it brisk and, and bouncy and just use, get away with as minimum sort of chords as you can get away with, really. So. And uh, great, then after that, the bit where it goes, I'm just using the same chords as we've used already, this, this sort of C effect chord here, and then a D. Alright, this chord here, you've got um, string 4 on fret 1, and then string 5, 3 and 1 on fret 2 to make that chord though, it's a Beatles chord originally. Or as I learned it, it's Chrissy Hines' Talk of the Town chord. Um, I don't know what the, uh, the, the actual uh, name of the chord is, but it's a pretty handy chord for these turnarounds. And then you're back into the verse. Okay, uh, by the way, this is the uh, the same key as the Dion Warwick version. There's two great versions of this song. Uh, if you want to play along with or sing it in the same key as uh, the Aretha Franklin version, put a, f a capo on the second fret and all the positions I've shown, you just move those up with the capo. Two steps and then you can, um, you can sing it in the same key as Aretha. You might not sound like her, but it'll be in the same key.
Thanks for watching. Bye bye now.